Hello again everyone. And welcome to day 4 of our 10 day fat loss program. I hope you're all set and raring to go for today's workout. We've lined up a series of 8 exercises, divided into 3 rounds. Your mission is to conquer 3 sets for each exercise before moving on to the next round. Let's get ready to sweat and crush those fitness goals. Round 1. Scissors. 1. Set up, lie flat on your back on an exercise mat or the floor. Place your hands, palms down, under your hips for support. 2. Starting position. Extend your legs fully toward the ceiling, keeping them together and your toes pointed. 3. Scissor movement. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the ground while engaging your core. This is your starting position. 4. Scissor your legs. Begin by lowering one leg toward the floor while keeping the other leg raised toward the ceiling. Alternate the legs in a scissor-like motion, crossing one over the other. 5. Breathing. Exhale as you switch your legs, and inhale as you hold your position. 6. Squeeze. Feel the contraction in your lower abdominal muscles as you scissor your legs. 7. Control. Maintain a controlled pace throughout the exercise, avoiding any jerking or excessive swinging. 8. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 12 to 16 scissor motions, 8 to 10 per leg, to effectively target your lower abdominal muscles. Dumbbell squats. 1. Set up. Begin by holding a dumbbell in each hand, arms fully extended by your sides. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. 2. Position. Keep your back straight, chest up, and core engaged throughout the exercise. 3. Squat down. Start by bending your knees and hips, as if you were sitting back into a chair. Lower your body down, keeping your back straight and your knees in line with your toes. 4. Depth. Descend until your thighs are parallel to the ground or as far as your flexibility allows. Avoid letting your knees go past your toes. 5. Squeeze and lift. Push through your heels to stand back up, extending your hips and knees. Squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement. 6. Breathing. Inhale as you lower into the squat, and exhale as you stand back up. 7. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 8 to 15 repetitions to effectively target your leg muscles. Barbell pullover. 1. Set up. Begin by lying flat on your back on a bench, feet flat on the ground. Place a barbell on the floor near the head of the bench. 2. Grip. Reach behind your head and grasp the barbell with an overhand grip, palms facing up, hands shoulder width apart. 3. Position. Extend your arms fully above your chest, with a slight bend in your elbows. This is your starting position. 4. Pull over. Slowly lower the barbell behind your head in an arc-like motion, maintaining a slight bend in your elbows. Focus on feeling a stretch in your chest and lats. 5. Stretch. Lower the barbell as far as your flexibility allows while keeping your back flat on the bench. 6. Return. Lift the barbell back to the starting position by contracting your chest and lats. Exhale as you do so. 7. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 8 to 10 repetitions to effectively target your chest and lats. After finishing 3 sets, move on to round 2. Barbell hip thrusts. 1. Set up. Begin by sitting on the floor with your upper back against a bench or platform. Position a barbell on your lap and roll it over your hips, just below your hip bones. 2. Feet placement. Bend your knees and place your feet flat on the floor, about hip width apart. Ensure your feet are close to your glutes. 3. Barbell position. Hold the barbell with an overhand grip, hands positioned shoulder width apart, and elbows pointing outward. 4. Hip thrust. Engage your glutes and core and press through your heels to lift your hips toward the ceiling. Your upper body should remain in a seated position on the bench. 5. Squeeze. At the top of the movement, your body should form a straight line from your shoulders to your knees. Squeeze your glutes at the peak of the thrust. 6. Lower down. 
Lower your hips back down toward the floor, but don't rest them completely. Keep tension on your glutes. 7. Breathing. Exhale as you thrust your hips upward, and inhale as you lower them. 8. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 10 to 12 repetitions to effectively target your glute muscles. Upright rows. 1. Set up. Begin by standing with your feet shoulder width apart. Hold a barbell with an overhand grip, palms facing your body, hands positioned about hip width apart. Let the barbell hang in front of your thighs. 2. Position. Keep your back straight, chest up, and shoulders relaxed. This is your starting position. 3. Lift. Pull the barbell upward in a straight line towards your chin by bending your elbows and keeping the barbell close to your body. Your elbows should point outward during the movement. 4. Squeeze. At the top of the movement, when the barbell is close to your chin, squeeze your shoulder blades together and pause for a moment. 5. Lower down. Lower the barbell back to the starting position in a controlled manner, allowing your arms to fully extend. 6. Breathing. Exhale as you lift the barbell, and inhale as you lower it. 7. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 8 to 15 repetitions to effectively target your shoulder and upper back muscles. Standing lot push down. 1. Set up. Stand facing the cable machine with slightly bent knees and feet shoulder width apart. Grab the bar with an overhand grip, hands shoulder width apart and the bar at shoulder level with straight arms. 2. Position. Maintain a straight back and lean forward slightly. Brace your core, engage your lats and glutes, and grip the bar firmly. 3. Push down. Exhale as you push the bar downward in a wide arc with straight arms, extending it to your thighs. 4. Hold and squeeze. Hold this position for a moment, squeezing your lats to feel the contraction. 5. Return. Inhale and allow the pulley to retract the bar to the starting position while maintaining straight arms. Keep your lats engaged. 6. Repetition. Aim for 3 sets of 8 to 15 repetitions. And round 3. Bench dips, using a single bench or box. 1. Set up. Position a single sturdy bench or box behind you. Sit on the bench with your feet flat on the floor and your hands gripping the edge of the bench on either side of your hips. 2. Starting position. Slide your hips off the bench, extending your legs forward. Your arms should be fully extended, and your hands should be gripping the edge of the bench, fingers pointing forward. This is your starting position. 3. Dip down. Lower your body by bending your elbows, allowing them to flare out slightly. Keep your back close to the bench, and descend until your upper arms are parallel to the ground or as far as your flexibility allows. 4. Push up. Push through your palms to extend your arms and return to the starting position. 5. Breathing. Inhale as you lower your body, and exhale as you push back up. 6. Sets and repetitions. Aim for 3 sets of 10 to 12 repetitions to effectively target your triceps and chest. Standing Dumbbell Hammer Curls 1. Set up. Begin by standing up straight with a dumbbell in each hand, palms facing your torso, hammer grip, and arms fully extended by your sides. 2. Position. Keep your feet shoulder width apart and your core engaged throughout the exercise. 3. Curl. Initiate the movement by bending your elbows and curling the dumbbells toward your shoulders. Keep your upper arm stationary. 4. Squeeze. At the top of the curl, briefly squeeze your bicep muscles to feel the contraction. Maintain your palms facing in, hammer grip, throughout. 5. Lower down. Lower the dumbbells back down to the starting position in a controlled manner, fully extending your arms. 6. Breathing, exhale as you curl the dumbbells upward, and inhale as you lower them down. 7. Sets and repetitions, aim for 3 sets of 8 to 10 repetitions per arm to effectively target your biceps. Excellent work. Once you've completed your workout, it's essential to stretch.
please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Staying dedicated to this 10-day workout program is crucial. Aim for 2-3 to three sessions every week. We're here to support you as you work towards burning fat, building strength, and reaching your fitness goals. Keep watching, as this series will be your ultimate guide to success.